Good morning. Simon Gibson here from Savage Gear UK and Ireland. Um, you are in for a real treat today because I've got my pride and joy out on the water and we're going to do something I don't think it's ever been done for Savage Gear before and we're going to do a bit of trolling off the High Rider belly boat and uh, we're going to try using some of the bigger lures uh, ranging from the 30 centimeter, 25 and even the 32 centimeter ropes as well. A, a bit of a rundown on, on the, my creation. Now, before I do say anything with it, this is not Savage Gear telling you how to set your high rider up. This is just how I've done it. There's many different ways that you can look at it with the electric engines being directly on the back and so on and so forth. Obviously, sonar equipment is always going to be important when you're, especially when you're trolling, you want to have a good mapping system. So obviously when I'm going to be on the water, majority of the time I'm going to be on my own. Um, I want to have a camera always pointing at me so I don't miss anything. So I've got the camera boom, I've got the rod holders, I've got all the ports as well. Obviously one of the main important things with your sonar is going to be your transducer. So you can see if I attach the transducer down there. So we've got one of the brand spanking new Savage Gear thruster engines. This is a 36 pound thrust. It's 6.8 kilo I believe, um, which is ideally sort of really really well suited to this style of fishing any more weight and it would be very off balance and well just probably not very safe that's perfect um what i've attached this to is uh is as you can see it's a uh, it's actually called just a, a standard rib port you can buy these off amazon ebay anything at all it's just a matter of then sealing the the attachments and getting it stuck onto your onto your belly boat um, there's various different types of marine grade glue and, and different uh, stuff that you can stick it on with and that's some, similar to what I've used. Alright so as I said we're going to do a bit of trolling. Um, 30 centimeter line through trout and lemon colour. This lure has turned into a real favourite of mine over the last sort of few months. Um, as you can see there's lots of teeth marks in it. Excellent lure, you can see it coming from halfway across the lake, it really really stands out and that's exactly what you want and in places like this where the water clarity is always going to be a, a, a bit tinged, so perfect lure for the place. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful morning and I'm ready to get going. Okay, let's go. Okay, so that is us going. Currently in 13 and a half foot of water. Um, I'm starting off with the 30 centimeter line through. Trolling at about 1.6 mile an hour, which is probably perfect for the line through. Um, any less than that, and it won't move right, uh, any more than that, and you probably won't catch anything um, because the pike won't go that fast at this time of the year. Well, sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. More than likely not. Um, so the plan is, is to just try and cover a bit of ground and do a bit of uh, a bit of mapping with the with the Ray Marine unit. Um, it's the first time I've ever fished this lake, so you know I'm not 100% sure on the depths and and so on and so forth. So the first hour is going to be a bit of a scouting mission, going round in circles essentially, uh, mapping everything out. Once we get a better idea of what we're doing, then we'll take it from there. So very very bright, lovely morning to be in the float tube. Let's hope the let's hope the pike don't mind it too much. Our fish fish. So just changed over to a paddle tail. Changed over to a paddle tail lure because I didn't think the line through was doing the right the right bit of movement that I wanted. So we're into a fish here. Oh he's not bad, he's not bad, he's not very big, but he's not bad. So just turn the engine off. 
bring them in. Gonna get a bit of action of it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right. Loosen off the drag. And we will get this. I'm jumping into the boat. Get this guy unhooked. Nice and easy on the lemon rattle trout. He wants to jump, but he wants to stay angry. Okay, so rattle trout back out. So it's just having something deep, and I just got slammed. I nearly pulled the rod in. <laughs> just knock the engine off. Just to give me a bit more control of the fish. It's only a baby, but for such a small fish, that uh, <laughs> give me a bit of a fright, put it like that. Stunning little fish. Absolutely thin part. Perfect, not a mark on it. it. Caused quite a bit of trouble, quite a bit of drama, and he was only about two pounds. Okay, so we are, uh, well, as you can tell, I'm not in the water anymore. So the camera boat we have access to, which is being a bit of a, sort of cheating in a way. Um, I'm removing legs. The reason being is there was a, a bit of a motocross rally if that's what you call it and, and it was proven to be quite difficult to uh, to get good sound with the with the camera so uh, this up sticks over to another lake reasonably reasonably close and um, we know there's big fish in here um, great having the camera boat so I can store lots of extra lures and rods and things like that so again sort of cheating but let's let's get it in and uh, once we're in I'll, I'll actually run you through some of the rods and things that I'm using as well um, gives you a bit of an idea of what we're using on the float tube just to give you a bit of a, a bit of a look at the outfit that I'm using so jumping on to the to the 32 centimeter roach this particular body of water is crystal clear so I'm gonna go with the natural colors um, the outfit itself is the 7 foot 3 SG2, um, it's the 50 to 100 gram version. I've also teamed it up as well with one of the new SG6 Savage Gear reels. Um, these are awesome bits of kit, really really nice, really really nice finish. Um, I've caught quite a few fish on them already and they seem to be really really up to the task. Um, and They really do uh, go well together, I have to say, quite a, quite a nice looking outfit. And uh, yeah, as you can see with the ropes, it's well chewed up one of the best lures on the market. I'm hoping this pulls a big fish in and, uh, and sort of completes the day. But uh, yeah, let's get going.
what I'm doing now at the moment is just trying a bit of casting with the with the famous Gobi shot. And um, sitting in about 12 and a half foot of water, right tight into the side, just covering the weed line. And there's a fish just as I said that. <laughs> so yeah, it's been sort of slow with the trolling, so I wanted to try a bit of casting. Gobi shad then. Came off. But uh, yeah, Gobi shad straight away. Fishing it with a 10 gram ball sinker weight. And that was, uh, well, only after a few casts to be honest. So maybe not a maybe not a bad tactic to try this it was only a small fish might have even been a trout to be honest because it was <laughs> it was tiny but that's good <laughs> oh but i literally called it he says i know there's one in there just swimming towards me though oh <laughs> you jumped in the boat <laughs> Really, really lightly hooked. Really lightly hooked. So we might lose this one. They're a crazy colour. Really strange, greeny, paley colour. Um, I am assuming that's because the water's so clear here. Yeah, probably get him unhooked in the water to be honest, because. It's very lightly hooked. Hooks hanging right off the edge of his lip. And I don't particularly want it in my finger. So there we go, Gobi Shad, as usual. Really, really nice colour, greeny tinge to it. Lovely crystal clear water pike. Thank you for playing. And that's it, game over. Um, that was a, an extremely difficult day's fishing. Really, really flat, calm, bright conditions, but we did catch fish, which is the main thing. Um, this is probably one of the most exciting ways to catch fish, hands down, one of my favorite methods. Um, it has caught me big fish. Anyone that has seen my social media will have seen me catching good fish from this here, and I have to say, as it's hands down, one of my favorite ways to get fish. Um, Listen, you don't need to do what I've done and literally put everything on it. The high rider on its own with a set of flippers is so effective and you can carry it really anywhere you want. That's the proper point of a, of a, of a belly boat or a float tube. This is a bit extreme, but this is a, as it matched up with the, the Savage Gear engine, it's, it's just something a little special. Um, really looking forward to seeing just how many good fish I can get this season with it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again. <laughs>